Hello everyone, welcome back to our final episode of Gonia Ground Zoo. Guys, I have had so much fun and today we are going to be doing a tour of the zoo. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let, let's get started with our tour. Uh, so right away you see the monorail that we built um, last episode. And if you take a look over, you can see um, a sneak peek of the saltwater crocodiles. Some people like to hang out and watch here. Um, yeah, we have some decorations and plants and stuff like that. We have some conservation boards. Um, here we have some more uh, views of the saltwater crocodiles. And as well as a donation bin because People like to watch them there, the saltwater crocodiles there, so I didn't want to lose any money. Um, here we have another view of the monorail going the opposite way, and we get a view of this nice, lovely building. Um, I absolutely love this building. I'm so in love with it. Um, so let's go ahead and go into the building first. Um, we, if we come straight over here, we get just a memento and the information booth. Um, we actually never decorated that, um, don't look at it too hard. Um, but then we also have the, um, I forget what it's called, but it's one of the snakes. Then we have the giant burrowing cockroach in here, um, I don't see any at the moment. Um, we have the new eastern blue tongue lizard. I think that's the name. Um, and then we have the eastern brown snake here. Yeah. Then we have a couple of ATMs here, along with the security cam. And we have some windows that open up to the southern Kasawari habitat. Um, we do see them back there eating their food. Yeah, so if we um, take a go back out, back on the main path here we'll we'll go this way first um we'll again again get another sneak peek at the uh, saltwater crocodile habitat and some more of the cassowary um, and we have some food and drink if you need to stop also pit stop for the bathroom um, some more education for the southern cassowary and here we have a great view of them while they're eating. Um, and yeah. So then we can come this way and uh, still continue the Southern Cassowary. I think the Southern Cassowary has the most viewing points in the entire zoo. Um, but we have that. We come back here. Here's a little staff area. Um, didn't decorate it up too much. Just kind of added the shell and that was about it. Um, but over here, we have the red kangaroos. Um, there are a bunch of them in there. I think there's seven or so in total. Um, so, yeah, we have them. And we can come around here. Go straight first, and then we'll go back up that little narrow path there. Um, here is the main viewing point for the first... Uh, saltwater crocodile habitat. We can see some chilling in the water. We have some babies in there. And I believe this is the male, and then there's one of the females in here. Um, we have some more food, drink, and hats. Fantastic. Along with the staff area right back there. Um, coming up this way, we have a better viewing point for the red kangaroos. Um, don't trip and fall in because... They're dangerous, and they might kick you. Uh, but yeah, then we have the monorail. And let's go ahead and hop in it to get over to the other area. Um, wait, I think I have to exit the side. Um, we want this one. All over the place. Here we go. Here is the one we will take.
Okay. So we wrote it over. Um, okay, getting off. Now we're we're back in our tour. Um, rode the the train over. It kind of showed us this whole new area. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and go into the koala habitat right away. And we're greeted by a koala. Hello. I'm not sure um, what the name is or anything. Yeah, we have koala habitat here. We're gonna go right through. Um, I believe there are four koalas in total because we have this right there. And we have two females and one male in here. And yeah, go ahead. And now we're gonna look at the. We have a couple of dingoes in here. I believe there are five or six. Um, we have some shelters for them, and we have their pool and some bubbles and stuff. Um, we can kind of see them. Not the greatest view here. There aren't quite an, enough of them in to give it a great view. Uh, we do have conservation boards all over the place trying to get that conservation rating up. And here we have our another view of our second saltwater crocodile habitat. Um, if you remember earlier in the series, we did um, have this all open, but then decided to close it because the um, crocodiles weren't really hanging out over here, and the keeper wasn't able to get over here to clean the habitat. So yeah, we have this area right here for the crocodiles. Uh, we have more food, drink, and some loony balloons over here. Um, just in case some people want to donate to the zoo, they can do that at the uh, um, Looney Balloon as well. Um, coming back over here, we have some more food and drink and the bathroom again. If so. And then a better view of the dingoes. And that is about it for our zoo tour. We have a pretty busy main street right here. Yeah, I am in love with the tropical zoo, tropical feel, everything like that. And back up. That is our main zoo. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm sure we'll come back here in the future, especially if there's ever anything that we need to do. Breed animals um, for the franchise. But that is all i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for hanging out and thank you for a wonderful series i hope you guys do enjoy um the end screen is gonna have a link to a brand new playlist um go watch that if you enjoyed this series uh, because great things and plans also all around thank you guys so much don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy my content um, it really pre I really appreciate it, and I love to hear you guys also love watching them. Uh, thank you guys so much, and we will see you guys next time. Bye!